What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video. And today, we gotta, I, I, I gotta be honest here, guys. I gotta eat a little crow. Okay, I gotta eat a little bit of crow when we're getting into this because we're continuing to talk about Doctor Who. Now, general audience's view of Doctor Who right now is in the total gutter. Let's let's not be mincing words here. Let's not try to ignore the hardcore facts. It ain't good, and it ain't gonna get be getting any better anytime soon. It's continuing to see a downturn in audience favorability week over week as even has shown just with 73 yards, it might have had better viewership for this entire season. But all in all, general audiences are in fact coming out here and basically saying it was a nothing burger. The only people that liked this episode were stands and the way stands are justifying 73 yards is very simply by using head cannon. Head cannon that uh, RTD wanted individuals to try to use in order to justify his poor writing. Well, when I when we went over the overnight viewership, I came out and said I'm willing to bet the consolidated viewership for Boom was going to be higher than what we were seeing. Maybe that's why we saw a higher viewership score for 73 yards. I thought that was the case. I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. When we scroll down here to the actual viewership, because we have the consolidated viewership right here for Boom, you can see it's still trending downwards. I'm wrong. I thought we were gonna maybe get at least get possibly higher than episode two. I thought we were gonna see a little bit of a bump there just because of how high boom was. I was wrong. I was wrong. And as you can safely see here, uh, it's all continuing to trend downward, losing roughly uh, between episode one and two. They lost around 100 million viewership on their consolidated viewership and then between episode two and episode three they lost roughly around 210,000 people just checked out not coming back now again i said my whole thought process for why episode four had such a higher viewership number was very simple the moffat bump i thought maybe boom was going to give a moffat bump because of that I thought people were relative, you know, I saw a lot of the stands coming out here saying that Boom was amazing. Boom was fantastic. Everybody loves Boom. If you hate Boom, you're just a hater. And I can safely say that none of your guys' chirping and squawking has actually been heard by the general audiences, as we can safely see here. Nobody's watching it. Heck, even though the plus seven, which essentially is the people that watch this over and over and over again in multiple households, even that's showing a downturn. Even that's showing that people are checking out. People aren't wanting to participate this. And if they're not watching day one, they're, they're not watching at all. I bring up the Disney Plus numbers and I bring up the freaking BBC iPlayer numbers week over week. And I don't really need to do that because both of those numbers are irrelevant. One's a dead platform and one can't be trusted. And hey, I'm eating crow right now. I'm eating crow. I thought these numbers would be higher. I thought they would be a much, much higher rating than what we're actually seeing here. Okay, I got I gotta admit it. I gotta admit what I'm wrong. And I, I can gladly come out here and tell you all I was wrong. It's much worse than I thought it was gonna be. But take note, I've been mentioning stands, I've been mentioning individuals like that that come out here and poison the well, poison what is actually going on here, and try to misrepresent to the audience what is truly happening. I'm going to give you guys a good example right now. A uh, wonderful example. All I did was I Googled 73 yards explained. Doctor Who 73 yards explained uh, from comic book resources, Reddit, uh, Radio Times, Hajaba. I don't know what that is. You see all these posts, all these blogs, all these garbage tier nonsense trying to explain 73 yards for you. When 73 yards has no explanation, it has no point, it has no meaning. There's no story within 73 yards because every single point gets undone at the end. The, why am I bringing up this up? My, why might I be bringing this up? Because this is Stan and Shill activity right here. These are people that are lying to you and manipulating you in ways to try to justify what we are seeing right now and justify the bad storytelling that we are getting from Russell T. Davies and individuals like that. So much so that I could come over here to Collider in which Doctor Who's latest episode, 73 Yards, just broke a new record! Doctor Who's new season serves as a soft reboot for the long-running sci-fi series. What record did it break? What, what record did they say it broke? 
Oh, they argue that it broke viewership records. It was the highest viewed show episode ever. It's amazing. It's wonderful. But take note of, of, of this little bit right here. They mention that it's a soft reboot. They're justifying that this episode had the highest viewership ever for Doctor Who's soft reboot season. This is manipulation. This is 100% manipulation tactics because all they're taking into account are these numbers, not the previous season's numbers, not any other incarnation of the Doctor's numbers ever. They're solely taking into account these numbers. This is manipulation. This is unhinged bullcrap that they are shoveling out to you. And this is what it comes to when it comes to stands. They're going to come out here and they're going to misrepresent all these numbers day and night. They'll say to high viewership on Disney plus, even though Disney plus is a dead streaming service, high viewership over on the BBC iPlayer, even though the BBC iPlayer data cannot be trusted due to the two minutes equal one viewership moniker that they have. And they'll, they'll tell you that 73 yards has a meaning that there is a message to 73 yards when RTD himself came out and said that there was no me meaning. That he wasn't going to tell you what's going on here. He was never going to explain it because he wanted the audience to make the story up themselves. He wanted the audience to figure it out on their own and have their own headcanon justify every little thing. This is manipulation. This is what I rally against and what I call out on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the problem with our modern media right now is they're going to make all the excuses in the world for why these numbers are great. Oh, highest viewed episode of the series ever. If you just count the soft reboot that we're in right now, it's amazing, great, and everybody loves it. They'll come out and say 73 yards. All, all this stuff is the explanation. Even while RTD says there is no explanation. They'll manipulate you. They'll lie to you. They'll lead you down this primrose path over and over and over again just because they can't handle the fact that nobody cares about their content anymore, that nobody wants to be a part of their content anymore, and that, to be perfectly blunt, people are checked out. Audiences are checked out. This 2.62, that was solely a Moffat bump. I'm willing to place money after I've seen the amount of reactions I have to 73 yards that it's going to get lower episode five. We might not see it cross the 1 million threshold yet. We might not see it cross that yet. I'm willing to bet that it gets very close to episode three. I'm willing to bet that it gets super close to being episode three overnight viewership, and it's just going to keep trending downward. We're not going to see a bump in the consolidated viewership. We're not going to see a bump anywhere, anywhere at all in any of this. And no matter how many times stands come out here, shills come out here to try to justify the numbers and tell you why it's good, they're lying to you and they're misrepresenting the true facts to you. That's the truth of the matter but i'm gonna leave it there guys let me get you guys thoughts all of this down in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it up friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time i put out a new video go live guys and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now